Every year we witness an extraordinary event, the migration of birds. These creatures traverse thousands of kilometers, crossing continents and vast oceans with astonishing precision. Despite encountering unfamiliar landscapes and unpredictable weather, they rarely lose their way. Scientists have long studied this navigational prowess, uncovering the use of celestial cues, landmarks, and even the sun as guiding tools. But beyond these familiar methods lies an ability that remains shrouded in mystery. Magnetoreception, the ability to perceive the Earth's magnetic field. Magnetoreception is not exclusive to birds. It is found across the animal kingdom from sea turtles and butterflies to fish and even bacteria. Yet, despite decades of research, the underlying mechanisms of this phenomenon remain elusive. How do animals detect magnetic fields? What biological structures enable this ability? And why is it so widespread in nature? Perhaps an even more intriguing question is, why don't humans possess this ability? Or could we? Some recent studies suggest that humans may have a weak, subconscious form of magnetoreception. If true, this would challenge our understanding of sensory perception and raise new questions about the limits of human biology. The idea that animals might sense the Earth's magnetic field has existed for centuries, but it was largely dismissed as speculation until the mid-20th century. One of the first major breakthroughs came from German zoologist Wolfgang Wilczko in the 1960s. Studying the migratory behavior of European robins, he observed that these birds could orient themselves correctly, even when deprived of visual cues from the sun or stars. Suspecting that the robins were detecting Earth's magnetic field, Wilczko devised a controlled experiment. He placed the birds in cages surrounded by artificial magnetic fields and manipulated their direction. The result was astonishing. The birds changed their orientation based on the manipulated field. This was the first concrete evidence that animals could sense and respond to magnetic forces. Since then, research has expanded to numerous species, revealing a complex and highly specialized sensory system that scientists are still working to fully understand. Magnetoreception is not limited to birds. A vast range of species, from microscopic bacteria to massive whales, rely on the Earth's magnetic field for navigation, orientation, and even hunting. But how do they detect something that is completely invisible to us? Scientists have proposed two main mechanisms, one involving microscopic magnetic particles embedded within the body and another rooted in quantum biology, specifically, a light-sensitive reaction occurring in the eye. One of the leading explanations involves magnetite, a naturally occurring iron oxide found in various animal tissues. These tiny magnetic particles function like compass needles, aligning with the Earth's magnetic field and providing a sense of direction. In birds, researchers believe that magnetite-based receptors are concentrated in the beak. These receptors are connected to the trigeminal nerve, which transmits magnetic information directly to the brain. When a bird moves its head, the shifting magnetite crystals may provide feedback about magnetic orientation, much like a built-in compass. This magnetite-based navigation system isn't exclusive to birds. Magnetotactic bacteria, which rely on Earth's magnetic field to find optimal environments, contain chains of magnetite crystals that act as biological compasses. Similar structures have been proposed in sea turtles, fish, and even some mammals, raising the possibility that magnetite plays a widespread role in animal navigation. However, magnetite alone may not explain the full picture. A competing theory suggests that some animals might actually perceive the magnetic field through their eyes. Not as a visual image, but as subtle changes in brightness or contrast that the brain interprets as directional information. This hypothesis centers around a light-sensitive protein called cryptochrome, which is found in the retinas of birds and other animals. When cryptochrome absorbs light, it triggers a chain reaction involving electron pairs. Incredibly, these electrons appear to be influenced by the Earth's magnetic field, subtly altering the chemical reaction. One specific variant, CRY4A, has been identified in the eyes of migratory birds. Researchers suspect that CRY4A may be at the heart of a quantum-based compass, 
allowing birds to detect magnetic fields through a mechanism governed by the principles of quantum mechanics. This idea, linking magnetoreception to quantum mechanics, is one of the most intriguing frontiers in science. The process involves quantum entanglement and spin dynamics, concepts typically associated with subatomic physics rather than biology. In simple terms, the Earth's magnetic field appears to act like an invisible force subtly guiding electrons within cryptochrome molecules. These quantum effects influence how signals are processed in the brain, potentially allowing birds to perceive magnetic orientation in ways we can't yet fully comprehend. The discovery that fundamental quantum principles might operate within living organisms is reshaping our understanding of both biology and physics. But despite these breakthroughs, many questions remain. How widespread is this ability? Do all migratory animals rely on the same mechanisms? And if quantum magnetoreception is real, why did humans lose, or never develop, this ability? This is where the science takes an unexpected turn, into the realm of quantum mechanics. While phenomena like quantum entanglement, one of the strangest and most counterintuitive in physics, are fascinating, the current leading theory for magnetoreception centers on a different quantum effect, the influence of magnetic fields on electron spin. Entanglement, for context, occurs when two particles become intrinsically linked, meaning that their states are correlated no matter how far apart they are. A change in one instantly affects the other, as if they are connected by an invisible thread across space. Even Einstein found this concept baffling, famously referring to it as spooky action at a distance. But what does spin and not necessarily entanglement have to do with magnetoreception? Earlier, we introduced cryptochrome, a light-sensitive protein found in the retinas of birds and other animals. When light strikes cryptochrome, it initiates a chemical reaction that produces a pair of radicals, molecules with unpaired electrons. These electrons are initially in a correlated spin state, specifically a singlet state where their spins are anti-aligned. Crucially, while their spins are related due to their shared origin, this is not the same as quantum entanglement. Here's where the Earth's magnetic field comes into play. The field influences the rate of interconversion between the singlet state and the triplet state, where the electron spins are aligned within the radical pair. This subtly alters the subsequent chemical reactions involving cryptochrome. These changes then trigger signals that the bird's brain interprets as information about its orientation relative to the Earth's magnetic field. In essence, the bird isn't seeing the magnetic field in the way we see colors or objects, but rather perceiving it as shifts in light sensitivity or contrast, providing a form of magnetic vision. The idea that quantum mechanics plays a role in bird navigation isn't just theoretical. Experiments have provided compelling support for this hypothesis, particularly for the radical pair mechanism involving electron spin. Scientists have tested migratory birds like European robins by placing them in controlled environments where the magnetic field was altered. They also exposed the birds to weak radio waves, which are known to disrupt entangled electron pairs. The results were striking. When exposed to these frequencies, the birds lost their ability to orient themselves. Their internal compass, it seemed, had been scrambled. Researchers have identified a specific type of cryptochrome, CRY4, particularly CRY4A, as a strong candidate for magnetoreception. Studies on migratory birds have revealed that their version of CRY4 is particularly sensitive to magnetic fields, suggesting that natural selection has fine-tuned their cryptochrome proteins for long-distance navigation. Evidence for cryptochrome-based magnetoreception isn't limited to birds. While earlier studies suggested that fruit flies, Drosophila, rely on cryptochrome proteins for navigation and that disrupting cryptochrome impairs their magnetic sensing, recent research has cast doubt on these findings. Some experiments have failed to replicate previous results, raising questions about the role of cryptochrome in magnetoreception. Although the idea of quantum-based magnetoreception across the animal kingdom remains intriguing, its prevalence and mechanisms are still under investigation. Despite these breakthroughs, many questions remain. Quantum effects are incredibly delicate, and studying them in living organisms presents enormous challenges. The coherent spin dynamics within the radical pair, crucial for the proposed mechanism of magnetoreception, are easily disrupted. Understanding how nature has evolved to maintain these coherent spin states for a biologically relevant time 
within the noisy environment of a living cell, remains one of the biggest puzzles in this field. New research tools and techniques, including advanced imaging and molecular simulations, are helping scientists probe deeper into these mysteries. The radical pair mechanism, if confirmed, is a striking example of quantum mechanics operating within a biological system, blurring the line between physics and life, even without requiring long-range entanglement. Magnetoreception is just one example of how quantum mechanics might shape biological processes. Other areas of research are investigating whether similar quantum effects, particularly those involving coherent spin dynamics and tunneling, play a role in photosynthesis, enzymatic reactions, and even human cognition. While we are only beginning to unravel the secrets of nature's quantum compass, one thing is clear. The ability to sense and navigate using the Earth's magnetic field is not just an evolutionary marvel. It may also be a direct link between the living world and the fundamental principles of quantum physics. The more we understand this phenomenon, the closer we come to answering a profound question. How deeply is quantum mechanics embedded in the fabric of life itself? The widespread presence of magnetoreception across diverse species, from bacteria to birds, suggests that this ability is not a recent evolutionary development. Instead, it may be one of the oldest sensory systems on Earth, dating back billions of years. One clue comes from magnetotactic bacteria, microscopic organisms that align themselves with the Earth's magnetic field using tiny internal crystals of magnetite. These bacteria use magnetoreception to navigate through water, seeking out optimal environments for survival. Since bacteria represent some of the earliest forms of life, their reliance on magnetic fields hints that this ability could have been present from the very beginning of biological evolution. As life became more complex, organisms that could orient themselves using magnetic fields gained an advantage. For early marine animals, detecting geomagnetic cues may have helped them migrate, locate feeding grounds, or avoid getting lost in vast oceans. Over millions of years, this ability was refined in different ways, sometimes through magnetite-based receptors, sometimes through cryptochrome proteins, depending on the species and their specific environmental pressures. The fact that magnetoreception appears in so many unrelated species suggests it has evolved multiple times through convergent evolution, a process where different organisms independently develop similar traits to solve common survival challenges. Whether an animal is swimming through the ocean, burrowing underground, or flying across continents, being able to sense and respond to magnetic fields provides a powerful advantage. This evolutionary history raises an intriguing possibility. If magnetoreception has been so valuable across so many branches of life, could humans have once possessed this ability as well? So have we lost it, or is it still hidden within us, operating beneath our conscious awareness? With this foundation, we can now turn to the question of human magnetoreception and what modern research is revealing about our own connection to the Earth's magnetic field. For decades, Scientists assumed that magnetoreception was exclusive to animals with a clear evolutionary need for long-distance navigation. Humans, it seemed, had no use for such a sense. After all, we don't migrate across continents like birds, and our survival doesn't depend on detecting magnetic fields. But recent research is beginning to challenge this assumption. While humans may not consciously perceive magnetic fields the way birds or sea turtles do, evidence suggests that our brains might still respond to them in subtle ways. One of the most compelling studies on human magnetoreception was conducted by neuroscientists who placed participants in a completely dark, magnetically shielded chamber. They then manipulated the surrounding magnetic field while recording the participants' brain activity using EEG, electroencephalography. The results were surprising. Even though the participants were unaware of the changes, their brain waves, specifically their alpha waves, showed clear responses to shifts in the magnetic field. Alpha waves are linked to relaxation and cognitive processing, and their sudden suppression suggested that the brain was detecting and reacting to magnetic changes, even if the participants weren't consciously aware of it. This suggests that humans may have some form of passive magnetoreception, a latent ability to sense magnetic fields at a subconscious level. Other studies have attempted to explore whether humans can actively orient themselves using the Earth's magnetic field. 
participants were placed in completely dark and disorienting environments with no external cues. However, the results of these studies have been highly controversial and often difficult to replicate. While some studies have reported that certain individuals could identify the direction of magnetic north at a rate slightly higher than chance, these findings are not consistently observed and remain debated within the scientific community. Despite the uncertainty surrounding active orientation abilities, the possibility of a past or vestigial magnetic sense raises an intriguing question. Did early humans once rely on magnetoreception for navigation? If so, why has it faded over time or become difficult to detect? One hypothesis is that early humans, like many other species, may have possessed a more developed magnetic sense but lost it due to changes in lifestyle. As human civilization advanced, reliance on visual landmarks, social learning, and eventually tools like maps and compasses may have made magnetoreception less essential for survival. Over generations, the ability may have diminished or become buried beneath more dominant sensory inputs. Alternatively, our magnetic sense might still be present but remains largely dormant or subconscious, something we don't actively perceive but that subtly influences our decision-making, spatial awareness, or even mood. This possibility is supported by the EEG study mentioned earlier, which showed brainwave responses to magnetic field changes, even without conscious awareness. Beyond navigation, there's ongoing research into whether magnetic fields influence other aspects of human biology. Some studies suggest that exposure to certain magnetic environments might affect circadian rhythms or even neurological functions, though this remains a controversial and active area of study. Interestingly, some animals, like birds and rodents, have been shown to experience behavioral changes when exposed to artificial electromagnetic fields. If humans do possess a weak magnetic sense, could modern exposure to electromagnetic pollution from power lines, wireless signals, and electronic devices be affecting us in ways we don't fully understand? Despite growing evidence, human magnetoreception remains an open question. Unlike birds, turtles, or insects, we don't display obvious magnetic behaviors, making it difficult to study. However, recent experiments suggest that our brains may respond to shifts in magnetic fields, even if we are not consciously aware of it. As research tools become more sophisticated, we may discover that this hidden sense is more significant than previously thought. If humans do possess a magnetic sense, what does it mean for our perception of the world? Could it be an ancient ability that has faded over time, or is it still influencing our subconscious decisions? Some scientists speculate that it might be possible to enhance or train this ability, potentially unlocking a deeper connection to our environment. Understanding this phenomenon could reshape our understanding of the human brain and the limits of our sensory experience. Beyond human perception, magnetoreception research has practical applications. Studying how animals use magnetic fields for navigation could lead to GPS-free navigation systems for drones, submarines, and space missions. Additionally, exploring how magnetic fields interact with biological systems might offer new insights into circadian rhythms, brain function, and even potential treatments for neurological disorders. Yet many questions remain. How do different species fine-tune their magnetic senses for their specific needs? Why do some animals rely heavily on it while others seem to have lost it? Could artificial electromagnetic fields from modern technology be disrupting natural magnetoreception in ways we don't yet understand? And if humans do have this ability, why is it so weak compared to other species? Answering these questions will require collaboration between biologists, neuroscientists, and quantum physicists. One thing is certain. We are only beginning to understand the full impact of magnetoreception on life. This ancient sensory system, present in organisms from bacteria to birds, may be a fundamental link between all living beings and the invisible forces of our planet. As science continues to uncover its secrets, magnetoreception may not just change how we see the natural world, it may change how we see ourselves.